Hello everyone, Brenton here. Um, yeah, so as the uh, title suggests, a little bit of a different video here. It's not going to count to the two that I'm doing most days. Um, I've get lots of questions from people saying, hey, how do I post you things? And, uh, you know, I want you to do unboxing or I really like the channel and I, I just want to support it. And I've kind of commented to a lot of those people and said, hey, uh, sit tight sit tight, something is happening. Um, I had to do a lot of checking with a lot of places in America and obviously and in Canada and because the postal service is uh, pretty much a capacity over there, um, being able to check whether, you know, this is what I had in mind is a good setup um, sort of took a lot of time to get people to come back. But we now, at least I'm 99% sure, um, can, you guys can send me stuff. If you do, um, make sure you put your return address on there because I will send something back as a thank you, just something very small as a token of my appreciation, um, just because you took the time to post something out. So I, I believe that you should get a, at least a handwritten note and something from me to say thank you. Um, not that anyone's really going to care about that, but, you know, I just figure it's a good little idea. And if I've got something, link, you know, popping around, I'll, I'll send it over as well if I've got something... Um, fun and unique um, from Australia or something like that. I'll, I'll send it back to you. But yeah, in the description down below and in the description of all of my videos going forward, there will be the postal locker address. Um, it should 100% work. It's tied to my home address. Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, by what I can gather, uh, it should work fine for America and Canada. Um, if you're sending something from a post office, I don't know if you want to, I mean, not that anyone really should, but I don't know how it's going to work if someone tries to buy something online and send it there. I don't know if stores are going to have an issue with sending to PO boxes. Um, but I guess we'll find out. But yes, if you do head down to a post office, it should definitely work. There's no limitations uh, from my side of things, uh, Australia Post, from sending it there. And by most of the major mail centers um, or couriers and those sort of things, uh, is there anything there? So you don't have to send me anything. Don't watch this video and be like, oh, i got to send so. Or he, he wants things. He demands merch. No, you're not obligated to do anything. It's just I have had a lot of people ask... And, like, I'd be wrapped if something came. Like, don't get me wrong. Please don't send me anthrax. That'd be a downer. That'd be a bad day. That'd be a bad day. Uh, but, yeah, I've had a lot of people reach out, so I thought I'd finally get this set up. And, like, I, this has been the thing that has taken a lot of time because I've had to call places at 2 in the morning my time and be like, hey, do you accept parcel lockers in, in Australia? And they're like, why are you asking me this? I, yeah. But actually, like, it's really funny, like, a lot of the, uh, like, IVR messaging, like, you know, when you call up and it's like, press one for accounts, press two for sales. Um, the message beforehand was like, this call will be recorded for safety and training purposes. That whole thing, like, there's a few post offices, and including the Australian one, that's just like, oh, like, we treat you with respect and honesty, and we want you to do the same to our stuff, so we will terminate the call if you give us racial or homophobic slurs, and you're like, whoa! Whoa, that would suck. That would suck. I would never work at a call center again. I was like one of my first jobs uh, that I did on the side while um, while being a pastry chef, which is many, many moons ago. But um, yeah, I'd never do that again because that was just terrible. That was the worst job. Just the worst job that you could possibly ever do. Anyway, guys, um, so yeah, so that's all there. Um, if you miss it in this video and need to go back, it will be literally in the description of every single video going forward. Um, just make sure that the space is in the numbers. That's the only thing that they told me. They are like, the space needs to be in the numbers there. Um, also, you get my full name, so that's exciting. So that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be out there. That's going to be out there, man. Yep, Brenton Retallick. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, it should be pretty easy to, to do. Um, I I'll, I'll might add uh, one or two things, but if you've got any questions, just reach out to me. Um, my emails are always in there, plus my Twitter, so you can just reach out, and I'm pretty quick at getting back to stuff, especially emails. I really should release a video of, like, how to work better with your emails, because, you know, I've got I've got a side business, I've got my main job, and then I've got this, and my inboxes are always at zero, because I just manage it so well, but yes. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, you're not... 
I'm not forcing you sending me anything, so I just, I just don't want... Uh, I'm gonna be so weird when someone sends me something. I'm Like, my girlfriend, who I buy, like, Christmas presents for and stuff like that, when she gives me a Christmas present, I'm like, you shouldn't have done this. Like, I don't, I don't want this. I don't like... I, I, I really don't know what to do when I get a gift or something like that. It's like, thanks for the good work, and you're like, oh, compliments. Oh, oh. That's the English in me. That's the English in me. The English don't like a compliment. But yes, uh, yeah. If you do send it, yeah. If you And by the way, if you get stuck or if there's an issue, I can sort of forward on another address to you if it's just a local thing. Otherwise, yeah, please let me know. If you do send something and something goes wrong, let me know because then I can fix this. It's just, it's a bit difficult, obviously, with trying to figure out with everyone because I, I wanted to do the due diligence because like if you do send me something like it's effort on your part the fact that you would spend two minutes on me is is incomprehensible in my mind but uh yeah so at least the the uh the parcel locker is there anyway thank you so much for watching have a great day more videos to come today so that's uh exciting as we're starting to ramp up to i have a month off work so there's gonna be a lot of videos coming up uh after two weeks from now um yeah so exciting stuff should get world juniors NHL still, they're still targeting Gen 1. Anyway, thank you guys. Bye.